hey guys welcome back to my channel here in this video i'll be doing a crystal application i guess you could say like tutorial or like how to um apply the crystals so as you could see i am going to be doing that here today in this video and i hope you guys enjoy do not forget to like subscribe and comment also do not forget to turn the bell so you can refer to my upload as well do not forget to check out the description so that way you can see all the products that i used as well as any discount codes that i have available and any of my social media will be linked down below in the description as well so make sure to go check that out and let's get on with the video so what i am going to be doing here as you can see i do have two nails right here in this little stand and then i also have this nail that i had did in a instagram live so i'm just going to bling it out and show you guys um some little ideas i guess and i also have this charm and as you can see these are these are not all of my crystals these are just some of my regular crystals these are not swarovski so as you could see i'm gonna just show you guys real quick in case y'all want to see what i have or what i'm using so we have some hearts some some diamond leaves, teardrops, kites, moons, raindrops, um, hearts, marquees, rumbus, fans. Um, what else do we have? I know that's kind of every all like the names that I know. So uh, that's one container, and then this other container has uh the regular crystals. Um, I do have some colored ones here, some green, blue, pink, and then I do have some little caviar beads. So, if you guys are wondering where any of these crystals are from, they are from Amazon. Um, all of the crystals that you see here, um, these are the crystals that I first used when I first first started doing nails. So, I still have a bunch because I would buy a lot, as you could see. And I'm going to be using a wax pencil. And then if you guys are wondering where this little charm is from, it is from No Supply Glamour. It's so cute. I had to use it. As well as the glue that I'm going to be using is Zule Glue, the best bomb, bombest glue ever. Um, and I'm also going to be using some caviar yeah. beads that I couldn't get, but let me check them real quick. So I am also going to be using these caviar beads. These are from Amazon as well. If not, they are from No Supply Glamour. I don't quite re quite remember. Like I said, these are also from. Oh shit! These are also sorry. Yeah, these are also from when I first first started doing nails. So yeah. So the first nail that I'm going to be doing is the black one. Um. So I'm going to be adding this charm on there. And I'm going to be doing the black nail first. And for that one, I do want to include this charm right here. So to apply the charm, I am going to be using this Dulce Nail Sprinkles Glue Gel, which I got in one of my nail boxes. So I will link that video down below in the description in case you guys want to go watch. And if you guys are wondering what gel polish I used, I did use gel polish. What gel polish I used to apply to the nail i use the madam glam perfect black make sure to use my discount code i will leave it right here as well as in the description so that way you guys could go save some money and i am also going to be using a gel brush which i haven't even gotten yet hold on so i am going to be using this i'm not sure this brand i just have it number six and i believe these brushes i got from amazon mostly everything that i have is from amazon so what I'm going to be doing with this glue, you do have to cure it. So what I'm going to do first is move this just so I could cure it in the lamp for whenever I apply my um, charm. So, if you guys are also wondering where my lamp is from, it is from Amazon. I will link it down in the description. Or you could just check out my Amazon list. Um, a lot of people always ask me where everything's from. So, if I don't have a link down below in the description. Sorry, I got a little wobbly. If I don't link it down below in the description, it's because it's in my Amazon list. So, 
all I'm going to do is just grab a bit of gel. And I do want to apply this to the middle of the nail. Like, I don't know. I'm not quite, quite sure yet. But like somewhere in the middle. Maybe like right there. So I'm just going to add the glue like that. So as you can see, it does have like some thickness to it. And I'm just gently going to dab it and spread it a little bit like that. And what I'm going to do next is I only, only, only want to glue this part. I don't want to glue this bottom part just because I do want it to like dangle, I guess. If that's a word, I don't know. But I'm just simply going to grab it and I'm going to place it on the nail. So with this, you do want to be careful because... This end is not glued on, so whenever you go in to cure it, it's going to move as you can just see. You just moved. So I'm going to hold. So whenever you're doing it on a client, you want to make sure her fingers are going down, whoever your client is. And then I'll just simply place it as to where it is straight and aligned. That's one major thing, major, major thing you want to do when applying crystals, making sure that everything is nice and even. So that way it looks good on the nail. So as you can see, that's what it looks like. And that's how I want it to look. The only thing is I'm going to just bring it a little bit up. I don't want it too, too down either. And I do want it to be very even and symmetrical. As you could see on the nail. Let me just show you. Oh, I got a little dark. Like that. So what I'm going to do is after you're done placing it wherever you want to place it, is just simply cure it in the light. So I am going to cure this for maybe, I'm going to just cure it for 60 seconds, a minute. So that way I know that it's all the way cured. So as you can see, you want it to dangle. You do not want it to stay. So as you can see, when I just did that, it moved the, the charm. So like I said, you do want to be careful when doing this because any little movement can just go wrong. And I am going to cure it for 60 seconds. So after it's done curing, it should look something like this. So as you can see, I'm still able to like move it around and play with it or whatever. And it's so cute. So that's what it looks like. Um, as you can see, so now I don't want to just leave the nail just like this. So I am going to add maybe some crystals around just to give it more um i guess you could say like more like a more look to it so now what i'm gonna be doing is since you could see it has the crystals on there and then it has like gold detailing i am gonna be adding some regular crystal to the nail so that's where these come in. Let me just move it like this so you guys can see. So the beads that I'm going to use, I'm most likely going to use the really, really small ones to the nail. Like so. And I'm going to start on each side and then work my way to wherever I wanted to stop. So I'm going to add some glue there and I'm going to go in with these smaller crystals because I don't want them to look 
two off as you could see i want them to look even like that and you want to do the same thing to either side I'm gonna just keep adding the crystals but once I'm adding as you can see I added the crystal and then I'm gonna go in and add two little gold caviar beads to the side like that and then I am gonna go in with my next crystal and add it as well like that and then i am going to end it off with two other caviar beads like that and i'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side So after you're done doing that, what I'm going to do is spray it with my Mia Secret Activator. So this is what it looks like. Just to make sure that everything is in place. And that is one of the first looks, which is so cute. As you can see, the little charm just dangles. Or if you don't want it to dangle, you could easily just get your um, choice of gel, place it, and just stick it right there so it doesn't move. But I thought this was super cute. So then the next one that I'm going to do... Excuse me, y'all. The next one that I'm going to do is this orange nude ombre. So what I want to do with this one, honestly, I don't even know yet. Everything that I film is like off my head. So especially like designs like this, I'm just freestyling for y'all. So I do want to add some big crystals. So I'm going to be adding just some down the middle. That way... The ombre is still there and not everything is covered. So I for sure want to go in with these. Maybe. I don't even know. I'm not sure the look we're going for. But I'm just going to freestyle it or whatever. So I do want to add something in the middle. So I'm going to add my glue and just place it on there. And... The first crystal that I'm going to pick is this one right here. And I'm going to put two of these together where the ombre meets. So just like that and then the next 
so I believe this is, I'm not sure if, if this is the shape of the name, but it kind of looks like a Marquise to me, but then like, I don't know, this looks like a Marquise, but this is much, um, I guess you could say like narrow, narrower, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm also going to go in right here with one of these. Actually, I'm going to go in with one of these and maybe do the opposite so that way it looks different. And it stands out. That's one major thing, especially when uh, clients ask you to freestyle or whatever the case may be. You always want to make sure you do not look at a picture because that is not a freestyle. A freestyle to me is when like I just do whatever. I don't look at nothing and I just go with the flow. So as you can see, this is what I'm doing here. And I want to add some smaller crystals right there on the side just so it's not just, you know, big crystals. So I just add one to each side, and these are SS16s that I'm going to be adding to either side. As you could see there. So then now I kind of want to add another one up here, but I don't know, should I? If only I had, if only I um, ombre it more up, I would have, but, mm. no, I'm going to just leave it. As you could see, this is something you could do. Maybe I should have put it more down, but this is something you could do, maybe, if you guys like it. Or, a go-to for me is always to do... The cuticle around the cuticle that's always a go-to for um my clients so for that i'm going with the ss12 and then i am going to be going in with an ss10 on either side and then i'm just going to apply a little bit more glue and I'm going to go in with the SS16 on either side. And then I'm going to go in with an SS4 on either side. Just like that. So you could always do cuticle bling or just something down the middle, something simple. And that's how it looks like. So like I said, whenever you do use the Zule glue, you want to make sure you activate it so that way everything stays in place. Oh, just like that. Oh, good, yeah. Just like that. And then for the last nail that I'm going to do is, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do to that nail. Mm. So this is the last nail. And if you guys are wondering what white I use, um, I use the Cure Sky Pure White. But honestly, I don't really like it. So definitely, please, 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 if... Um, you work with gel polish or have gel polish definitely please comment down below recommend me a good good um white gel polish that's pigmented i did have to go in with a couple coats of that one so now i do want to show you guys i want to do maybe something down the middle but not with bigger stones maybe just with smaller stones but I did want to do something colorful. So, 
I'm going to do something red. So as you can see, these are my other regular crystals. These are not Swarovski. Um, so I just have them in different sizes. If you guys are wondering, like I said, I will link everything that I have down below in the description. If you guys are interested. As you can see, I do have them. I do have these red ones in some couple couple different sizes. I'm not sure, too, too sure on the sizes of these. But you can always, always do something down the middle with just um round crystals. Um, Because I do know that not a lot of you guys um can afford just even small crystals alone that are not Swarovski. So you could always, always work with what you got. So I am going to be doing just something in the middle. And I'm like I said, I'm just going to freestyle it, go along with the flow. Because even if you apply it, you could always go back and take it off with some cuticle nippers. These are just from the dollar store. Like I said, these are just cheap ones that I use um, to remove crystals. And they work perfectly fine. So... You can always, always just add your glue and go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a bigger crystal. And just place it simply in the middle. Like so. And then you could always go from a bigger crystal to a smaller one going down or with the design or something so with this one i'm just simply going to go from biggest to maybe smallest um and something i do want to do is add some smaller stones as well so you could always go in and apply some smaller ones all you gotta do is apply your glue and just place it so this one you could see you could leave it like that add more going down or whatever this one on the other case i'm going to outline it I'm not going to do it in the middle just because I already did that on those other ones. So, I'm going to keep aligning it with these smaller ones. You can either, you can use different sizes. I suggest to use the same size just so that way it looks all even. Because you do not want it to look all weird using different sizes so make sure whenever you are using a size you have a lot of it because you do not want to run out and then have it looking weird with um other sizes because it's not going to look cute so as you can see i added four on either side and then now i'm just simply going to apply them down the side Which, y'all, I need to sharpen my wax pencil real quick. Um, If you guys are wondering where this pencil sharpener is from, it's from Michael's that I got in, like, a little kit. In case anybody's wondering, this is my favorite color. <laughs> but you just want to go in. And this glue, that, uh, blah, 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 blah. this glue does dry up fast. So you want to make sure you to work. Um, to work kind of fast because it does dry up fast. So this is not really like a good beginner glue if you're going to take your time. I do suggest to get another glue because this one does dry up fast and you do not want to just be wasting it because it is a really, really bomb glue. 
But I want to say this is probably like a SS4. If anybody's wondering. So as you can see, that's what it's looking like. You want to make sure they're even. Just like that. I'm gonna keep going. So once I'm a, once I start getting more towards like the end, I am gonna start doing the other side just because you want to be careful because sometimes they are going to overlap and if they do, it might mess up your design. So I think right here I'm going to stop. Like that it looks super cute. So I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. So as you can see, I am getting closer towards the end. So I am going to apply my glue to this little end of the nail. And I'm just going to go on either side. could see and then right there towards the middle you want to start putting them together so that way it doesn't look off and then you want to finish with your final crystal just like that and look how beautiful that is as you can see, they're still shiny. So definitely, if you guys recreate any of these no designs, definitely don't forget to tag me on Instagram because I would really, really like to see your guys' um, designs. And definitely comment down below if you guys want to see more, uh, want to see more of me like doing these designs and like showing y'all how to do it and you know how to place the crystals so i am gonna go in with my madame glam no white top coat my black um no so i'm gonna start by doing this side first and just simply top coating it and when you're doing this please don't ever 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 apply the top coat to the crystal because you are going to mess it up you are going to take away the actual shininess shininess from the nail i mean from the crystal and you do not want that at all you want your crystals to shine so that way they look good so as you can see i did go in with the gel top coat and I'm going to go in and cure that for 60 seconds. And while that's curing, I'm going to do the same thing to this side of the nail. I 
I just had to get my brush. So this is just a liner brush. This is the brand. It's kind of off. But this is just the brush. <laughs> I'm just simply going to do this and cure it for 60 seconds and hold it while I'm curing, as you could see. Look at the crystal, y'all. Y'all, look at my nails. <laughs> so as you can see, this is what it looks like. It just moves. And as you can see, I did cure it. And yeah, it just moves. So after they're done curing, this is what they look like. I'm gonna just hold this one while I'm showing you guys, but this is what they look like, and I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely comment down below if you guys want to see more videos like this, and see you guys in the next video.